Here are the results after using the patched block strap fast flags and the best tweaks to boost Roblox performance. In this 2025 guide, I'll show you exactly how to use these updated settings to unlock max FPS and buttery smooth gameplay with low ping. So follow every step carefully. Let's fix Roblox the right way. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Cleaning temporary files to make Windows faster. To help speed up your Windows system, the first thing we'll do is delete temporary files that aren't needed anymore. These files can build up over time and slow your PC down. Start by pressing the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. A small box will pop up. In that box, type percent temp percent and then press enter. This will open a folder that stores temporary files. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything in that folder, then press delete to remove all of them. Now repeat the same process. Press Windows key plus R again, but this time type temp without the percent symbols, then press enter. Press Ctrl plus A again to select all files and press delete to remove them. This step might not give a huge FPS boost, but it will help free up space and make your PC more responsive, especially if you haven't done this in a long time. Step two, use patched block strap fast flags to boost Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we'll use a tool called block strap to make Roblox run smoother and faster by changing its engine settings. First, go to the FPS boost pack and download a file called block strap launcher. When the download is complete, Install it like you would install any normal program. After installation, click the Windows search bar, type Blockstrap, and open it from the results. Once Blockstrap is open, click on Configure Settings and then go to the tab named Engine Fast Flag Settings. Scroll all the way down until you see the section titled Fast Flag. Click on I know what I'm doing, then click Add New. Now go back to the Boost Pack folder and open the text file that came with it. This file includes multiple graphic presets. The one called Patch Fast Flag Graphics for FPS is recommended unless your computer is very low end. There is also a second option called Patch Zero Ping Fast Flag Graphics, which is better if your main goal is to reduce ping. But again, don't use it if you have a very weak PC. For this tutorial, we are using Patch Fast Flags, and I recommend you use the same. Copy all the text from that file and paste it into the Fast Flags section in Blockstrap. Then click OK. If a message pops up asking for confirmation, click Yes. After all that's done, save your settings, close Blockstrap, Vaya, and launch any Roblox game. You'll now notice much smoother performance and better FPS. Step 3. Use Quick CPU to unlock full CPU power. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we're going to improve how your CPU works when you're gaming by using a tool called Quick CPU. Start by downloading and installing the program on your PC. Once it's installed, open it. You'll see a screen with different settings and controls. At the top, find the power plan option and select ultimate performance from the drop-down menu. This will keep your CPU working at its highest performance all the time. Then scroll down to find several performance sliders. Set core parking to 100%. This makes sure all your CPU cores are active all the time. Also set performance, frequency scaling, and turbo boost to 100% each. These changes prevent your CPU from slowing down during gameplay. Click Apply, then click OK to save everything. Next, go to the section called Advanced CPU Settings. Make sure you check the box for Turbo Boost, which increases your CPU speed when needed. Also check the box for EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology, which allows your CPU to better manage power and speed. After all this is done, close Quick CPU. These settings will stay active in the background and help boost your gaming performance. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. 
Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one, or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Use MSI Utility to improve hardware communication. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we'll use a program called MSI Utility to make your CPU and GPU communicate more efficiently with the rest of your system. This helps reduce input delay and makes your PC respond faster when you're gaming. Once downloaded, open the tool and a list of devices connected to your PC will appear. Look through the list and find your graphics card, GPU. When you find it, check the box labeled MSI next to it and then change the interrupt priority to high. If your PC also has integrated graphics like Intel HD graphics, find that too, check its MSI box, and set its interrupt priority to high as well. After setting both, click Apply. Then close the program. This step will help reduce system lag and make your games feel more responsive. Step 5. Free up RAM. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. ISLC is a helpful tool that clears out unused memory, RAM, so your games have more space to run. First, open the ISLC program. At the top, you will see your system's total memory listed in megabytes, MB. In the field that says free memory is lower than, enter half of your total RAM. For example, if your system has 32,000 megabytes of RAM, type in 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes of RAM, type in 8,000. Next, check the boxes that say Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon. This will make sure the tool starts automatically every time you turn on your computer. On the right side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.5 VO. Set the polling rate to 1000, but if your PC is slower, you can set it to 1000 instead. After that, click the Stop button, then click Start, and finally click Purge Standby List. This will clear out unused RAM and make your gameplay much smoother. Step 6. Make sure all CPU cores are being used. In this final step, we will make sure that Windows is using all of your CPU's cores. Press the Windows key, type System Configuration, and open it. Go to the Boot tab, then click on the Advanced Options button. In the new window that appears, check the box that says Number of Processors, and from the drop-down menu choose the highest number shown. This setting tells your system to use all available CPU cores instead of just a few. Once selected, click OK, then click Apply, and close the window. This will allow your CPU to process tasks faster and improve performance in games and other heavy applications. If you follow every one of these steps exactly as shown, your CPU and GPU will perform much better, and you will see higher FPS, less lag, and faster, smoother gameplay in all of your games.